start out with the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation. You guys already know I love this foundation. Now they have like three shades, honestly. So this is their lightest shade, and this is in the color Porcelain. Okay, so I just got some on my finger. I'm just going to wipe it on my face. But this is in the color Porcelain. You guys know they have like three shades. But you guys know I love this foundation. Now this... This shade is a little too dark for me, but I use it anyways, and it, you know, it blends out pretty nicely. So I'm just going to blend this into my face just like I normally do. Yeah. Rolling and now that I'm stuck in my seat from the whole control of my speech Yeah, I've been trying to get off this couch for a minute and a whole damn week No kidding, I'm skinny, I cannot eat Gotta Okay, so this foundation is amazing I love this foundation so much Honestly, like it lasts good on my face all day It's super full coverage um, It is too dark, so I did blend it down my neck But, yeah Alright, so we're going to move on to concealer I don't know how this is going to go If this doesn't look good, I'm going to put on a different concealer Over on top of it this is the e.l.f. concealer in light beige, and it looks like this. It's very, very tiny. Um, I don't remember how much it costs, but everything's very, very inexpensive. So I'm just going to put this under my eyes and everywhere else that I put concealer. And I'll put a good heavy amount just so, you know, you can get the full effect of it. And it smells, it smells like fruity. Kind of smells like fruity pebbles honestly that sounds so weird but that's kind of how what it smells like and i hope all this stuff looks good because i'm going to work after this and i'm not redoing my makeup or will i have time to redo my makeup so i'm hoping it all looks good okay so we're just gonna blend it out like we normally do I'm Okay, so honestly, like I don't see like a full like coverage like effect, but I don't I don't think it gives a bad coverage. I think it looks pretty good. It is very very dewy, so we're just gonna set it with some powder. Um, I did have translucent powder from them that I did really really like, but I don't know where it's at, so I'm just gonna use some of my own powder and set my eyes. All right, so now we're gonna move on to blush. I'm gonna be taking this little like quad blush palette and I did dip into it once um, but I really don't remember how I liked it so we're just going to do it again. These are way darker than I expected so we're literally going to go into the top one and we're just going to go like once and I think it has some pigment on it so just kind of very lightly hit the face. No it's not as pigmented as I thought so I'm going to go into it a couple more times and just see. Okay there's some color now. I mean, not too bad. It's a very pretty color. I don't know if it's my color normally because I do normally use a lighter foundation, but so far, so good. And I'm just gonna pat over it with the sponge. I do look, think it looks really, really good. It did blend it out pretty nicely. I can't really test the other shades. I could probably use this one as a bronzer, but the rest of them are all very dark, so I can't really use the other ones, but that looks pretty good. So now we're going to go into bronzer contour. This is a contour palette. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to take my Morphe M4530. Oh, uh, no. I'm going to take my little bronzing brush, and I'm going to go into this color right here. I'm going to pick that up. Hopefully it's not super pigmented, but no, that's not super pigmented at all. So I'm just going to pick that up and bronze, and then I'm going to go into the darker shade. So basically just bronzing up my cheeks and so far that color is very, very light, but I like it because you can build it up and it doesn't go on really, really heavily at first. So, so far so good. And I'm going to take it on the forehead as well, just as I normally do very lightly though, because I don't like it too dark up there. And that's like another good thing for this shade, specifically because it's very, very light and you don't like cake it on at first. So, so far so good. I am liking this. Alright, I don't know if I should do this or not, but I'm going to go into that darker shade. I'm just going to go into it once and then try to like contour bronze a little bit just to add a little bit of like depth to it. Yeah, I do see it adding some darkness. So I'm just going to do once and do the same thing to the other cheek. Nothing too crazy. 
So now for a fun part, hopefully a fun part, I'm going to go into a highlighter and I did buy a different highlighter from them and it looks so pretty so I'm going to repurchase this but it came broke. It's completely, oh that spilled everywhere, yeah it's completely broke so oops I didn't mean to spill that everywhere. So anyways I did buy this highlighter as well so this is the e.l.f. Jelly highlighter so we're gonna see how this is. I don't think I've ever used a jelly highlighter. I've touched them and played with them. Anyways, that's a lot on my finger and I'm just gonna you know put this on my cheek and hope for the best and I'm gonna blend it out with my finger first and then go on with a sponge okay that is super like heavy on the cheek so hopefully this blends out because if not okay no you guys cannot see that but it's not blending at all oh no okay so i'm gonna do the other the same thing like on the other side of the face and then i'm gonna put foundation over it um just so they look the same for concealer maybe because those are like oh no that is not pretty maybe if i did it like really fast and blended it out Okay, so it looks really blinding on the face and looks awesome, but it really doesn't blend out at all. So, fuck. Okay, so I'm going to go with concealer on top of it and just kind of try to blend out like the outer edges of it. Because that looks like really, really bad not blended out. Hopefully this doesn't mess up my face. Because if so, I'm really upset. <laughs> Oh no, you guys can't see on camera, but it's like literally like raised right here on the edge of my face. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the foundation to help it out, cause oh my god. That is too much foundation, but we're just gonna go on top of it. Okay, so that highlighter looked terrible, absolutely terrible. Oh my god, it just like, you guys can't see on camera because my lighting is like really shitty. So you guys can't see, but it was literally like raised up on my face. It didn't blend in at all, so I just had to go take a wipe, wipe my face, put foundation on again, bl uh, blush, and uh, fix up my bronzer because that looked terrible. Okay, so I realized my camera wasn't filming, so... Fuck, I'm really sad, so <laughs> I'm like really annoyed. But anyways, so what I did was I wiped off the area where the jelly highlighter was and I just put on foundation on top of it and I kind of just redid my blush and bronzer. And then I went in with this highlighter. I'm gonna go in with it again just so you guys can see. But this is the e.l.f. It's the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in Moonlight Pearls. It looks like this. So I'm just going to go into it again, but I did already put it on my cheeks. But this stuff is blinding. It's a very, like, it blends into your skin. It looks so, so nice. It's like $2, guys. All this stuff is very, very inexpensive, and I, I like a lot of stuff so far. I'm really big into e.l.f., so... Yes, I am really liking this. This highlighter is bomb. And so I moved on to brows, and I know it's really sad, but I did. And this is the brow pencil that I was using. And I just basically, I basically just try to draw on my brows. I suck at it, but I really, really like this product. I don't really use brow pencils ever, so it's very, very hard for me. But so far, I am really, really liking this product. It's, um... It's like pretty natural, but if you go into a heavy, you can get a bold brow. But I think this is really, really good if you want to be natural. I just don't really use these very well. So I'm moving on to powder now. And this is the like e.l.f. It's like a little brow duo thing. It has like a gel thing right here. This is old, so I'm not using that, but the powder is good. So I'm basically just going to go in and trace my brows as I normally do. Okay, so the brows are done. Um, I kept them not too dramatic. Um, the product is a little like more of a natural product, so it's not anything that's gonna be bold, but 
looks pretty good. I'm not mad at it at all. All right, so now we're going to go in with the e.l.f. Opposites Attract eyeshadow palette. It looks like this. It looks very, very pretty. I am very, like, I've been wanting this. It's been out for a good while now, though, but I've been wanting this since it came out because it looks so pretty and has a lot of beautiful colors in it, and they really stepped up their game, I feel like. So we shall see how the quality is. I'm not going to do anything too bold and crazy um, just because I am going to work, but I'm going to go into this color Sassy right here, and I'm just taking a blending brush, and they are very powdery, it looks like. So I'm just taking that. And, you know, I'm going to blend it into my crease. So far, so good. It is pretty decently light, but it's blending very nicely and building up pretty nicely as well. So far, so good. And I also realized I have to leave for work in 30 minutes, so I really have to step up my game actually less than 30 minutes honestly it's less than 30 minutes i have to leave so we're just doing a simple look today i thought i would have more time and now i'm going to go into the color saucy right here which is this yellow color i don't know if these two colors will mix well but that's the color i want to use so i'm just kind of blending that one time very lightly over it does look like it's a pretty color but you can't really see it too much on top of that shade i just used all right, now I'm going to go in with this smaller blending brush. It's a little bit more detailed, and I'm going to go into the color Warm, which is right here, this brown color. And I'm picking that up. I'm going to try lightly at first. Okay. That is actually, like, that went on really, really easily. Very nicely. I barely tapped into it, but it's not too heavy. So I'm just going to blend this on the outer. And then once I have left over, I'm going to bring it into the crease, just as I am doing right now. Just kind of blend it into the crease. So far, so good. That's blending very, very nicely. I'm headed to the bottom of the bottle I've been trailing. And I'm just going to go into the first brush and just kind of blend out the ends the like outer circle area of the eyes and I'm gonna go into the color cheeky which is this color right here and I'm gonna go into it and just use it just to kind of enhance the crease a little bit since it is starting to wash away a little bit with the darker color the pretty color so far I'm really liking this so far so good that looks really really good together I'm now just going to take a flat brush and I'm going to go into the color Spicy, which is this bronzy color right here. And I'm picking this up and I'm just going to spray my brush just as I always do with like some setting spray kind of stuff. Pick it up again and I'm going to use this just to lay on the lid. All right, so now I'm just going back into that brown and I am just going to use it just to kind of blend out the edges of that shade. And now I'm just taking another pointed brush and I'm going into the cheeky color, which is like that peach color we used the second one and blending it under my eyes. And I'm going to take the leftover brown on this brush and just use it to kind of deepen up the under eyes. Okay, so I actually really, really like this. Of course, I'm going to play around with the other colors to see if they work as well. But I really like this look that I came up with. I'm very happy about it. There was like a good pigmentation and there wasn't any fallout on my face. So that makes me very happy. And I'm just going to go in with this flat brush. I'm going to go into the color Soothe which is a dark gray in here in the palette, but it kind of, actually, oh no, there's a, I think this is a black, so we're going to go into this color right here, Genuine, kind of looks like a, like an off black, almost dropped the palette, but we're going to go into that, and I'm just going to smudge it on the top lash line, because I'm not doing eyeliner. All 
All right, so now we're gonna go into mascara. This is the e.l.f. It's a mineral infused mascara. I really like these mascaras. I do have another form of it. I think it's like a waterproof one, but I really like them. I think they do very, very well. Now I do have leftover like crusty mascara on my eyes that I couldn't get off. So if there's any clunks, that's why, but I really like how this, it's $2 and it makes my lashes look like really good, better than a lot of other expensive mascaras. So I do really, really like this product a lot and I do recommend you guys trying it. They do have a few different forms, but I believe, I don't know between the waterproof and one or not, but I think the mineral infused one is my favorite. Like honestly, like my lashes just look so, so good. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to lips. This is the e.l.f. Liquid Matte Lipstick and it's in the color Marvelous. Looks like this. And we're just gonna put this on the lips. Okay, so that is a completed look using everything that is e.l.f. So, full face using e.l.f. Cosmetics. e.l.f. is very inexpensive and I already love tons of their products. Like, I really do love e.l.f. Cosmetics very much. So, I'm just gonna do a little run through. Um, the e.l.f. Acne Fine and Foundation, you guys already know I love this stuff so much. It's probably my number one foundation that I love. And for the concealer, um, I wasn't disappointed with it. I do think it added a little bit of coverage, um, but I don't, I don't know. I wasn't like super impressed with it, but I'm definitely going to use it more because it didn't do me any wrong and I'm always down to use a new concealer. And for the eyeshadow palette, I think it worked really good. I'm so glad I finally picked this up. Um, it is a little bit more pricier on their end. I'm pretty sure it was like $12 or $15. Um, I got it on sale because they were having like a 40% off sale, so I got everything on sale. But this is very, very good. So if you're looking for something a little bit more inexpensive, I do recommend that. Now, I do like this lipstick, um, but it is too matte for me. So I am going to put on like a gloss on top of it after this just because I have very, very dry lips. But if you don't, this is a really good lipstick. And for the brow products, I think the brow products are very, very good. The brow pencil worked very, very good. I think it made my brows give like a really cool like natural look i am just i really suck at using brow pencils but i definitely want to work with it more especially on my more natural days just to kind of get some use out of it and you know learn how to use it but i think it worked really really good mascara is bomb you guys already know i love this mascara i use it pretty often and same with the highlighter, it's bomb. I use it all the time and I love this highlighter. And for the blush and bronzer palettes, I think they're very, very good and they obviously have tons of handprints on them. But um, for the blush, I think they're too dark for me and I would like to see a lighter um, blush palette. I don't think they had a lighter one, but I would like to see a lighter colored one because they are too dark for me, so I have to go into them very lightly. And for the bronzer, um, it's called a contour palette, not a bronzer palette. I don't know what I keep calling that. Um, it has these shades right here and I'm assuming these are for like highlighting under your face and these are for contour um, That I don't think that's like a highlighter. I think it's just like a white powder So I don't know about those but these two right here worked very very well And I think these are very very good if you are a beginner at like using bronzer and contour because they're very very light and you don't pick up too much product and go too heavily so you can definitely build it up now this is the only thing I didn't like. This was the jelly highlighter. Oh my gosh, this stuff looks so bad. I don't recommend it. If you want it for fun or to give it to your kid or something, cool, cool, do that. But honestly, like, like it looked so pretty on the finger, but on the skin it did not blend in and it looked terrible, so yeah. Okay, so yeah, that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give my video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.